Hello, welcome to Push Corp. I'm Isaiah Flora. Today we are robotically graining and polishing stainless steel sinks. Before we dive in, please leave a comment with any questions you have on this application. We'd love to have a conversation with you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss our next robotic material removal application. These stainless steel sinks go through a press break operation leaving draw marks. You can see it most predominantly along the lip and marks down here on the base. Our goal was to remove the marks, reset the grain pattern, and then blend it back to the rest of the part. A common method to accomplish this is to use a coat of abrasive to remove the marks and reset the grain direction. Then follow it up with a non-woven to blend to the rest of the part and remove any microburrs. Multiple forms of these media are available, including belts and flap wheels. We showed the customer multiple options during the demo, including various flap wheels and non-woven convolute wheels. Those wheels give a tighter grain pattern when run at an angle on the part. This presented an issue when processing close to the lip of the sink. The required angle did not allow close enough access to the lip. Ultimately, the customer preferred a belt solution because of the tight grain pattern it produces while still running parallel to the part. The PushCorp RBS372 robotic belt sander and the AFD1240 compliance device were a great pairing to run the belts with a constant RPM and force. The RBS372 has a 5.7 horsepower servo motor that can run up to 6,700 surface feet per minute. It features electronically controlled belt tracking, pneumatic belt tensioning, and sensors that allow you to detect a belt break. It has three configurations allowing use of its contact wheel, a platen, or slack a belt. In this application, we use the contact wheel. The PushCorp AFD1240 is our largest compliance device, which allows you to apply up to 215 pounds of force. It's an active compliance device, allowing it to apply a constant force no matter its orientation in relation to gravity. That was key on this part due to its curvy features. Additionally, the compliance device has a 40 millimeter stroke. This greatly reduces how accurate the robot program needs to be to follow the curves, reducing programming time. Okay, let's put this all together and check out the application video. Step one, use the coat of abrasive to remove the draw marks and set the grain direction. On the lip of the part, the grain direction did not run parallel to the curvature of the part, so we rotated its orientation to match the grain direction as we traveled across the lip. Step two, utilize the non-woven abrasive to blend to the parent material and remove any microbes. Hey, welcome back. If you want to see your parts in the demo lab or have interest in our equipment, send an email to sales at pushcorp.com. If you enjoyed this video, check out our robotic boat prop polishing video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.